Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice square root problem? Solution from here. Here, let's make use of two methods. The first method, from here, we can write what we have, and this becomes root 8 times 7 plus root 8 and divided by also here we have root 8 times 7 minus root 8 that is here this follows when we have root a times b which can be expressed as root a times root b then what we have becomes root 8 times root 7 plus root 8 then also divided by here we have root 8 times root 7 minus root 8 then up here we have root 8 is common when we factor it out this becomes root 8 into bracket here we are left with root 7 then plus we are left with 1 here close bracket so divided by root 8 common here as well. we factor it out we have root 8 into bracket also we have root 7 then minus 1 left here close bracket then next step here yeah, root 8 cancelled each other all we have left becomes root 7 plus 1 over root 7 minus 1 then next step here we rationalize this sort then multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator that is this multiply by the conjugate of the denominator which is root 7 plus 1 also multiply this by the same conjugate which is root 7 plus 1 that is next step these two brackets multiply and follows on we have a times a which can be written as a square same thing multiplying that is we can write as root 7 plus 1 or square and divided by here we have in format of a minus b into bracket then open bracket a plus b which can be expressed as a square minus b square which is known as difference of two squares that this here what we have can be written as root 7 square minus 1 square then the expansion here also follows from what we have a plus b or square which same thing as a square plus b square plus 2ab that is what we have here becomes root 7 square plus 1 square plus 2 times root 7 times 1 then over here we have square cancel square root it means 7 then minus 1 square that's 1 the next step here also square cancel square root here we have 7 then plus 1 square that's 1 then plus 2 root 7 over 7 minus 1 that's 6 the next step 7 plus 1 we have 8 then plus 2 root 7 over 6 next step here we can factor 2 up here as this we have 2 into bracket here you mean 4 then plus root 7 here over 6 that is here 2 goes here 1 and 2 goes here 3 and what we have becomes 4 plus root 7 over 3 that is we have the simplified form of the given problem as 4 plus root 7 over 3 then let's use the second method here here we can rationalize this directly and multiply the numerator and the denominator with the conjugate of the denominator. So this here we have root 56 plus root 8 multiplied by root 56 plus root 8, which is 
the conjugate of the denominator then divided by also multiply this by the same thing that is we have root 56 minus root 8 multiply by root 56 plus root 8 and next step here we have same thing also multiplying which implies we can write this as root 56 plus root 8 all squared then divided by this also follows when we have a minus b into bracket open brackets a plus b which same thing as a squared minus b squared that is yeah this can be written as root 56 squared minus root 8 squared next step the expansion here follows when we have a plus b all squared which is the same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab then here we have root 56 square plus root 8 square plus 2 times root 56 times root 8 then divided by yeah we have square cancel square root that's 56 left then minus also square cancel square root here we have 8 that is from here also we have square cancel square root that's 56 then plus square cancel square root as 8 then plus 2 multiply by here when we have root a times root b you can bring this together as root a times b at this here we have root 56 times 8 together then over 56 minus 8 we have 48 that is yeah 60, 56 plus 8 we have 64 then plus 2 multiply by square root of here yeah, you can separate 56 as 7 times 8 then times 8 over 48 then here when we have root a times a is same thing as a root a times 8 here we can bring it out as 8 that is we have 64 plus 2 times 8 then we have root 7 left over 48 that is here we have 64 plus 2 times 8 that's 16 then root 7 over 48 then up here 16 is common we factor it out and we have 16 into bracket here remain 4 then plus root 7 left here close brackets then over 48 that is from here 16 goes here 1 and 16 goes here 3 then we are left with 4 plus root 7 up then over 3 here which implies we have same thing from the first method and hence we can conclude that the simplified form of this given problem is 4 plus root 7 all over 3 and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up or comment see you next class and bye for now